Now that's just one way of doing member BC. I'm going to tell you right now, it would have been a lot easier to do member BC without having to determine all this business. And that could have been done by just taking this beginning and establishing this as my beginning and saying that what we're looking at as the bottom to be the top so that our local coordinate system would have looked like this and then drawn our shear and moment diagrams this way. You know, and you could turn your head upside down and draw the diagram according to now the way that is. So in fact, here's how I would have done it if I said that my beginning was over here at joint C. If this was my end I and this was NJ so that my local coordinate system looked like this, member BC, I would have drawn like this. You know, I've just drawn it going left to right, if you will, with positive upwards of my local coordinate system pointing up the way we're viewing it and my horizontal here along the length of the beam. And this is end C and this is end B of my member. And now my axial diagram will same. I'll have, just have compression. My shear diagram would have started at negative 16.392 and then increased because I'm pointing upwards now, right? I would have increased 24 kilonewtons up to that 7 point whatever it was, 7.61-ish or 608. And this distance here would have been that 2.54. Or we could have, you know, you can go ahead and determine this again as well. It's at 2.54 meters. And then my moment diagram would have looked like this. Starting from here, I have no moment, so I would have started from zero here. I would have had a decreasing slope. This area you would have calculated to be, this would have been that 44.78. Based on the orientation of my drawing, I would have, boom, right here. This would have been horizontal. This value would have been negative 44.78 or 9. And this would have been that negative 35.14 kilonewton meters. These would have been just as equally correct. And that's why computer programs, when you're drawing your structure, you, know, you click on end one end and then draw the member to the other end. You know, that essentially establishes the beginning and end of your of that member or that element. These programs will give you a member report specific to each member and specific to the coordinate system that you established when you drew each of the elements. Hopefully that was insightful. Let me know if you have any questions and take it easy. See ya.